Do you recall back in 1998 how Pope John Paul II released a statement that said, to the dismay of Seventh-day Adventists, but to the relief of everyone else, the Pope has declared that the world is not about to end? Well, it seems that the Seventh-day Adventist Church no longer feels the same dismay that they did 20 years ago. In fact, the president of the Seventh-day Adventist General Conference just stated the following on camera. Check this out. Understand that, yes, national Sunday laws will come, persecution will come, but nothing of that sort is in the pipeline at the present time, nothing that we have understood. Okay. Strangely enough, when speaking of Sunday laws and all that entails their soon enforcement, Wilson can truthfully say that he understands nothing is in the works regarding this prophetic fact, but for students of prophecy, we know that saying nothing of that sort is in the pipeline at the present time is because of disobedience and spiritually dangerous for all those that trust this man and his leadership. The Word of God is plain. The only way to understand prophecy is to obey the God that wrote it. On my Sunday Laws page, let me go there real quick. It's, uh, here it is. I have, if you, go, if you go to this area here, you jump down. I mean, the page is loaded with all sorts of information and articles, but this section here has over a thousand articles and thousands more linked out all over the internet, and quite a few more I have yet to post online because of redundancy, because I don't like to you know, repeat the same kind of articles over and over again. But my point is, everything from government officials being pressured by Vatican prelates to ban all shopping on Sundays in Poland, to global movements wherein even the Jews have been forced to agree to keep Sunday holy back in February of 2013, which then led to them passing a law in April of 2017 that allows all Jews to break the biblical Sabbath without being considered in sin. Yeah, I also have more than a few videos wherein talks of using the guillotine have been spreading, or guillotines have been legalized in American prisons, and guillotines have even been written into Obamacare recently. But Ted Wilson says nothing of that sort is in the pipeline at the present time. Nothing that we have understood. You know, it used to be the Seventh-day Adventist Church was the place to be if you wanted to gain an education in doctrinal and prophetic understanding. Sad reality is, and as prophesied for the SDA Church, apostasy breeds spiritual blindness. And with that blindness comes the inability to see prophetic facts as they fulfill all around us. As we see all over the Old and New Testaments, Whenever church leaders disobey God, they are no longer allowed to understand prophetic truth. This is why Ted Wilson is echoing the Vatican's peace and safety message, as well as allowing pastors under his leadership to remain as pastors, even after declaring Allah is God on camera, or that declare SDA Church is keeping Sunday holy constitutes no big deal. You know, Wilson also turns a blind eye to Loma Linda, declaring homosexual marriage is acceptable, and even allows dozens of Seventh-day Adventist churches to keep Sunday holy each and every week for years. Wilson may not see any evidence of Sunday laws being lobbied, discussed, or even down the pipeline, as he calls it, but as prophesied, the remnant of her seed certainly does. And we will go forth and warn as many as will listen that everyone needs to prepare for the coming of the Lord. Please pray for Ted Wilson and all those that trust him to lead them to safety in the coming days. For as prophesied, only those who are obedient to the Lord will be blessed with the latter rain that gives them the ability to go forth to glorify the Lord that most Christians have decided to walk away from in recent days. And so how does it end for the Seventh-day Adventist Church or anybody else that believes no dangers down the pipeline at this point? Well, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3 clearly said long ago, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And how does it end for the obedient? The very next verse says, But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Thank you for watching. God bless.